me isn't in my birthday yet cause i gotta say you're looking like a gift for me wrapped up nice and neat baby get in my way now don't be shy we'll be here dancing day and night get in my groove now don't be shy cause i got this is of my favorite things you could be the part where it all begins you could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of So we had a few leaves. Catch my vibe and right away I saw much time looping in the blurry lights. Today I have just a complete disaster clean with me, a lot of organizing, decluttering. John and I finally fixed the closet. If you've been watching me, probably now like a month ago, <laughs> that um, John and I were originally planning on um, doing some of the home uh, renovations, so to speak, and we were going to paint the closet, but <laughs> we ended up not being able to because we found this disaster. I'll insert a clip right now. Um, and it's been such a process, you guys. Like. I can't even tell you, we had to make sure that it wasn't mold, that it wasn't anything that was causing structural issues, and the list goes on and on. So with the mix of that and the chaos of the holidays, it got pushed back. Luckily, we got the go-ahead from some of his friends that it was just, you know, probably old water damage, didn't look like there was any other issues with it, and John um, got the supplies and ordered some drywall to fix it himself. Well. <laughs> Well, of course, they delivered it yesterday when they were supposed to deliver it two days ago. And it changed a lot of my plans with what I was going to film this week. <laughs> it's just always something. So John actually got it fixed. Um, I'll insert a clip. So John did an amazing job. He got it all fixed up, um, but it took a long time to get it done. I ended up having to take Maddie out, and because of it now, my entire house is just completely trashed because it just took up, you know, half of the day and I have a lot of other things that I'm always trying to do. So I'm glad that that's fixed, but I definitely have my work cut out for me and let's do it. And so honestly, all of this is laundry and different items. Look at this, you guys. I mean, we have been living out of bags and boxes because of this closet. So I have like all of John's um, pants and, you know, shorts in here. I have t-shirts and bags in that box as well. Blankets. This is stuff that some of the drywall had fallen up on and I had to wash it all. It's at least folded. <laughs> so I need to get his items back in the closet, get these clothes organized, and get the rest of the laundry going. Hey you guys, welcome back to another complete disaster clean with me. My house is completely trashed and I had so much to do this day. I had one of those weeks that I would like to forget. Have you ever had one of those? It was just complete chaos. Everything kept falling apart and I couldn't get a grip on everything. Just as a mom alone, things can get tough, especially during the holiday chaos and throw in the fact of trying to schedule everything. I showed you guys those leaves that we had to pick up. It was a massive job. And of course, one of our leaf blowers broke, so we had to get another one, plus schedule people to come out and assist because our yard is so big, if you've seen my channel before. And also then with the closet, with the supplies not coming in on time and having to schedule people to help with that, as well as you can probably relate if you have young children and dogs it's chaos when you have 
strangers or multiple people coming in. It really just takes up so much of your day and is just utterly exhausting. I was so tired this week from having to do all of that. And on top of it all, to be honest, with the holidays coming up and the grief I'm going through with my mom as well, I'm so used to having her help assist with all of the planning of the events and dinners and things going on. And it's just falling all on me now. And it's just making me spiral a bit and miss her more. So I have just had quite the week and I'm so glad that a lot of those projects are out of the way. I normally even like to film the chaos just it gives me an outlet and it was just so busy that I couldn't do it and doing things like the closet are just my least favorite kind of fix up to do because you don't have that beautiful after effect if it's like a decor or painting you know it's a structural thing it has to be taken care of but there's no real fun in it, you know, so it's just costing money and time. So I'm so glad that I was able on this day then to have somebody watch my daughter for a few hours so I could get this house back in order. I decided to first put all of the clothes back in the closet. I wasn't about to make it perfect. I had way too much to tackle on this day. And since we will, you know, take everything out anyways, when John gets to painting and we start redecorating, I just figured I could declutter it and, you know, make it look all pretty and organized then. So I'm just starting by getting at least John's basic clothes out. Um, we were missing a lot of hangers. I think I threw a lot of them away when the drywall kept falling down all over everything. So I had to put that on my list to get more. It's just been a process and something I didn't think would take up so much time. So I felt like myself getting things back at least in place and nothing feels better after you've had a really exhausting week to get your house organized. So I hope that this gives you guys a ton of cleaning motivation and that you're all staying really mentally well and getting everything together for the holidays because I know it's just the craziest time of the year. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can be and he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time. And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that. Oh, his smile is killing me. It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs, so I can't get enough. I'm thinking about him all the time. I can get him off my mind. Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine. I to say yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts I told him I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want, if you want yeah, I can be a fighter Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we stay in bed I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na I ought to say yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you So next I'm moving into my hot mess of a kitchen. I've been working on different sight words with Maddie. I know she's really young, but she actually has finally gotten into some of the flashcards and such. So I enjoy doing those things with her. I think that's the fun part of the next stage that we're going to be in. If you saw in the last clip when I was cleaning the bedroom, I gave her one of her presents early. It was little Elmo doll and she's been really into that lately and I'm just the worst mom. I have a hard time not giving her at least a couple of her presents beforehand because what's better than seeing your kid's face light up when they get something but 
my kitchen was a total disaster and I got the table, the catch-all space done first, just wiped down. I needed to wipe down the chairs as well. There was just little bits of food and things that had fallen down everywhere. And I wanted to take a second just to show you guys um, some of the holiday teas that I picked up because they are my favorite. I just wanted to show you guys, I picked up some of these holiday teas. They are my absolute favorite for this time of the year and I got the whole set because I deserve it. <laughs> this is white chocolate peppermint, cranberry vanilla wonderland, gingerbread spice, candy cane, candy cane lane, sugar plum spice, and Nutcracker Sweet. They are so good. I I would say if I had to pick a favorite, I love the Sugar Plum and um, the Cranberry Vanilla. They're just, they're so fun for the holidays. So I picked up some of those, especially when people come over and stuff, then we can, you know, share a holiday tea after a long day. And I just wanted to show you guys this because my friend dropped this off. I'm not going to probably see her on Christmas, so she wanted me to enjoy it before then. <laughs> um... But look at this. Uh, her sister makes a lot of different things. I just thought this was so adorable with the snowflakes and it's so me. And it says Hallmark Christmas movie watching blanket. Is that not the cutest? I like can't wait to snuggle up in this later. It is super soft too. So this is perfect to go with my tea for later and onto the kitchen we go. So everything in my kitchen was a complete mess and there was just food crumbs somehow everywhere. It just completely got away from me. So I needed to focus on my chairs and then my counters and I wanted to give my kitchen sink a really deep clean. I like using the soft soap without the bleach on it if possible. You'll see that I use that in the bathroom as well later to try to not have to use bleach um, and they do work pretty well. There are times that you definitely need it but I always find it's worth trying it without the bleach first just because I'm the type of person that gets a headache from it. So I just needed to unload all of the dishes from the night before and really focus on getting my floors cleaned as well. I feel like the video doesn't even do it justice. There were just muddy paw prints and just crumbs all underneath the cabinets once again. So taking care of that before I went to clean my dreaded bathroom. It was really messy and dirty and needed a really long overhaul. I think that there's just spots that we all don't enjoy to clean and the bathroom is mine so I was kind of putting it off but I knew it needed to be tackled today and that way I could finish up in my living room which is never as hard of a job to tackle. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me, oh Now it's clear we are here back at your house And I keep fading into the background I'm wide awake, now you keep missing out for sure
try to do the shower really quickly. I'm going to try to use some of the soft scrub without bleach. I'm hoping that that works because I don't feel like getting a headache today. But if it doesn't, I'll add some bleach. I've got the kaboom, some Lysol wipes, and I'm going to add some Dawn dish soap in there with a scrub brush to hopefully get this done really quickly. So my bathtub always gets pretty gross quickly. I think just between a toddler, a husband, and a dog constantly using it, it just happens. And because this is really, my house is really that old farmhouse style and the tiles and that probably could use a little bit of updating or at least we need to recock it. But for now, as long as I stay on top of it, which I haven't been, it's not so bad. So yeah, it's really my own fault. Anytime I don't stay on top of it, it gets like this, especially just in that in-between area. So it is what it is. I'm always cleaning it, it seems, but it's worth it. I'm one of those people that can't take a shower unless it really feels clean to me. So it you know I have had a chaotic week when it gets this bad. I was actually shocked I woke up that morning and John had already put up the toy organizer for me and I was I was so happy about that. Sometimes it's just the little things. It might not have taken me a long time, but it was one less thing on my list. Calling you up at two in the morning. But you don't wanna talk, you don't wanna bother. Yeah, so I took another shot, let my brain do the walking. I don't wanna be a friend, I want something real. Maybe if I say the night, you could feel the same. And maybe if you treat me right, we could rearrange. But I'm not even gonna try if you don't wanna stay. So how's it gonna be? You got me on my knees. I don't need no roses on my bed. I can pull you closer to me, babe Ain't nobody touch me like you can I just need some closure, a little closure I don't need no roses on my bed If I could pull you closer to me, babe So moving into the home stretch, I was finally in my living room, which felt so good just to get these things picked up. I don't mind cleaning up clutter. It's the dirty things that are always my least favorite. So it was nice to finish up in this room, just get her toys organized, the blankets picked up, and of course, vacuuming and mopping the floors. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on
So I was so happy after a long day of cleaning. We decided to pick up one of those gingerbread houses and give it a go with Maddie. It was a hot mess. Let me tell you, we are not <laughs> the best at doing this, but she had so much fun with it that it made it all worth it. And of course, you know, with all of the candy, she was just a kid in heaven and Molly was fighting with her for it the entire time. But it was something really nice to do at the end of a long day and a long week, really. And John ended up coming home at a decent hour. So that makes everything a little bit better. I feel like the family time is everything to me. Cookie. Yeah, cookie. Mmm. <laughs> and she is just the absolute cutest and is really obsessed with cookies and candy right now. So, I mean, what little kid isn't, right? Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this, got a lot of cleaning motivation out of it, and I'll see you soon. Bye.